Hi, Miss Eckerd's class. This is Miss Jervis coming to you from the art room. And what we are going to do for our art show this year is I'm going to put it on YouTube. I have set everything up, unloaded the kiln this morning, got your owls out. They're not painted, of course, but we're going to go through and look at everybody's artwork one at a time. As you see, we've got initials on the artwork. And you can pause the video when you get to your artwork, show your parents, show your friends. They are in alphabetical order for your class. We have two ADs, so A, D, A. And then we've got A, D, E. Okay, so about this project, we worked on it in the fall. It is birch trees. And we took one class period to do the background. We had some fun with temper cakes. It's kind of like watercolors. We painted our backgrounds one week, and then we did our trees the next week. The background could have been um, abstract or realistic. So some of them you can kind of see a background with mountains or something. This particular person was absent when we did the background. So we just got a plain one there. But the next week we worked on the trees. I'm trying to get the initials in and talk at the same time. I'm sorry. We did the trees the next week and then we cut our trees out and we glued them onto our background page coming up with a really neat landscape of birch trees. The background was watercolor, I mean, um, resist. So some people put some crayons on and then we, we painted. So there are some crayons in the backgrounds too. Um, the next project that I'm going to show you is our clay owls. We spent a day, one day before I demonstrated exactly how to do it, and then we took paper and we drew what we were going to make our owls look like. Um, then the next week, students came in. I gave them a hunk of clay. I'll say a hunk of clay because I just cut it with fishing line. And then they roll it into a ball. They flatten it out. And then we use rolling pins and paint sticks. We put two paint sticks on either side and we roll it out so we get a nice um, size thickness of the slab of clay. So it rolls out kind of oval, a long, tall oval. Then we fold the top down to make his head and then everybody gets tools to, oh, that one poked the holes all the way out. That's cute. Um, we use the tools to do all of the decorating. You can see the textures that they put in the wings. Anything that they added on, if they added on the beak, they had to score and slip. And when they scored and slipped, what they did, ask them, parents, make sure that they can tell you what score and slipping is. Scoring is when you rough up the clay. Slip is when we add a little bit of water to make it kind of like a glue. And then we put it on to where it will stay attached. And then Mr. Jervis fired it in the kiln. So, hope you enjoy your art show. Miss you guys. Praying for you. Take care.